It seems as though every small town in America has its own story about mysterious lights in the night sky. We all have a relative or a friend who seems convinced they've sighted an alien spacecraft. But some of the most eerie encounters happen much closer to home. This is the case for the events that unfolded in a farmhouse in Christian County, Kentucky in 1955, where two families reported being confronted by beings from another world. Most of us have an idea of what we would do if we were to spot alien lights in the sky. But what would you do if the aliens came tapping at your window? On August 21st, 1955, two families, the Suttons and the Taylors, had come together for dinner at the Suttons farmhouse, which was just outside the towns of Hopkinsville and Kelly in Kentucky. There were eight adults and three children in the house. At 7 p.m., 21-year-old Billy Ray Taylor stepped outside to fetch water from a nearby well. He noted a sudden flash of light and looked up to the sky to see a saucer-shaped craft in the distance. He said it appeared to have bright rainbow-colored lights on its side, and that it appeared to be crashing down into a nearby gully just outside the farm. Frightened, he ran back into the house in a panic and told everyone what he'd seen. Although the others were spooked by how shaken Taylor seemed, they dismissed his sighting and insisted he'd seen a meteor. About an hour later, The two families started to hear strange noises outside. The Sutton's dog began barking loudly before becoming frightened and running to hide under the house. Billy Ray Taylor and Lucky Sutton went outside and saw a glowing light coming toward the farmhouse. As it got closer, they saw that the glow was coming from a three and a half foot tall creature that resembled a goblin with two long ears and large eyes. Its entire body was silver and metallic. The two men ran back inside the house. Billy Ray grabbed the rifle and Lucky grabbed the shotgun and they went back outside. When the creature was within 20 feet of the house, they began shooting at it as it approached. They heard noises that sounded like bullets being rattled inside a metal drum. The being scurried away and the men went back inside. Once in the living room, they saw another creature outside the window. They fired at it through the window and once again heard the rattling noise. The creature seemed to flip over, and the men began to run outside to see if they had struck it. As the men headed outside onto the porch, a woman screamed in horror as she saw a creature's hand reach down from the roof and take a swipe at Lucky Sutton's head. Lucky shot at the creature and it ran off the roof. He heard a noise to his right and noticed yet another one of the creatures perching on a tree limb. He shot at it, and the creature fled. The men noted how strangely the creature seemed to move. Their legs always remained straight and their hips swayed from side to side as if they were wading through water. They even seemed to defy gravity when they jumped, floating in the air for small periods of time. They always emitted a dim glow that grew brighter when they moved. The men ran back inside the house to join their families who at this point were in a panic. For the next several hours they huddled together while the creature circled the house peeking into windows and tapping at the walls. At 11 p.m., the families decided to make a run for it. They sprinted towards their cars and sped to the police station. They relayed their terrifying encounter to the police, and although the authorities were skeptical at first, the families were so hysterical with fear that a total of 20 policemen headed down to the road to the Sutton farm to investigate. The police searched the house and the surrounding area, but found no sign of the creatures. They did briefly notice a green light in the woods beyond the farm. They also interviewed the neighbors, who said they saw strange lights and heard loud sounds coming from the Sutton farm. By 2.15 a.m., the police and the Taylors had left the farmhouse, leaving the Suttons alone. Convinced that the ordeal was over, the Suttons went to bed. 
A little while after everyone was sleeping, Mrs. Langford, the matriarch of the Sutton family, heard a noise near her window that woke her up. She opened her eyes and noticed a dull glow coming from outside. Once her eyes focused enough to see clearly, she once again saw one of the creatures peering into the bedroom. She woke everyone up, trying to remain as calm as possible. Lucky Sutton grabbed his gun and shot at the creature, but once again it seemed to have little effect. They continued hearing noises for hours after. Around 5 p.m., the noises stopped and never returned again. When the story of the encounter at the Sutton farm hit the news, the families were ridiculed by the press. People showed up in droves to the farm, taking photos and trying to catch a glimpse of what the newspapers had dubbed the Hopskinville Goblins. The families were accused of being hoaxers, and many people went as far as to say they were under the influence of drugs or alcohol when the incident allegedly occurred. Both the Suttons and the Taylors never wavered in their beliefs that what they saw was something out of this world. Over the years, people have proposed all kinds of explanations for the encounter, the most popular of which is that the creatures could have simply been great horned owls, who vaguely resemble what the witnesses described and are also known to be violently territorial. The light that Billy Ray Taylor saw in the sky could have been a meteor, as there were several reported meteor sightings in the area at the time. Could it be that the heightened sense of fear experienced by the witnesses made them see things that weren't there? Whatever they saw, their story lives on as one of the strangest alleged close encounters ever. If you like this video, please subscribe to Cryptic for more.